Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and here are some romance recommendations with sweet as can be heroes. I love me a good sweet man. Okay, I love sweet cinnamon roll heroes and these are the cream of the crop. Like always, if I have more recommendation videos with this trope, I will link them down below. So if you want more sweet men, they're down below. So don't get me wrong. I love an alpha man. I do. Okay. But some of them have like the sweet, tender hearted. It pulls on my heartstrings and makes me fall in love with them like twice as hard as the alpha ones. So <laughs> the first one that I have to mention is Mixed Signals by BK Borison. Both characters in this story are from the small town the whole series takes place in. One night when Caleb the hero is giving the heroine a ride home from a disastrous date, um, they both realize they haven't had the best luck in dating. And so they're gonna date each other to figure out what's going on. Like what's wrong? How can I change up how I date somebody? Why haven't I found the one yet? So they're gonna date each other, basically research and figure out what's going on. Throughout this fake dating research process, they obviously fall in love with each other. Caleb is one of my favorite heroes ever. He is so incredibly sweet. And I related to him in a lot of ways. He feels kind of lost in life. And I really, really related to that in a lot of ways. I love the heroine also. She is the baker for the Christmas tree farm. She has her own little bakery. I love baking. So I love her. A scene that lives rent free in my mind forever. Like I always think about this scene. The night before the heroine is supposed to give like a big, like kind of like pitch to, I think like some investors or some important people. I can't remember off the top of my head. She's been baking away for weeks like making sure that everything that she makes is perfect for the people that are gonna try her food. But then the night before, the power goes out and um, her her desserts are getting ruined, spoiled. And so the hero stays up all night, helps gather people and gives them tasks to help the heroine save her bakery basically, and gets a generator to get power in the bakery. Like he does so much and he stays up all night. He's like exhausted the day after, but he just wants to see her happy and make sure that her dreams come true. He is so stinking sweet. I know I talk about this book a lot, so I'll be brief, but this is A Five Minute Life by Emma Scott. These two characters actually meet in a sanitarium. The heroine is a patient there. She experienced a brain injury when she was in a car accident and now she is only able to recollect like five minutes of memory. So she has amnesia. She doesn't remember anything, I think for the past five years since her accident. Um, and she's only has a five minute memory span and then time kind of resets to before the accident. Jim is our hero and he actually gets a job as kind of like a janitor of sorts in the sanitarium. Um, and he ends up falling for Thea, the heroine, like very reluctantly. He does not want to. He knows that it's probably not the best thing to do, probably against the rules. Um, so he's keeping his distance, but he can't help but fall for Thea. And then he's slowly realizing the more time they spend together, she might be remembering things. So like he knows this relationship is not made to happen, but what if there's a chance? So I love this one. Jim is so sweet. He can tell that the heroine loves art and loves painting but she's never given any art supplies besides like a pencil or two and some paper. And he goes out of his way to try and get all these art supplies for her, even if she can only remember for five minutes. He's like, even if her memory only lasts five minutes, she still deserves to do something she's passionate about, even if she doesn't remember it. So yes, another, another sweet man. I love him. Liam Kelly is my next sweet man here. You wouldn't think that he's sweet at the beginning because this is kind of like an enemies to lovers trope. Our heroine of the story, she lives in Paris and she had this childhood kind of like nemesis who happens to be our hero. One day her best friend comes to visit her in Paris and he brings Liam with him. And she's like, what is Liam doing here? Why is he here? That's all I really wanna leave you with. There is a fake dating aspect in here. Evie the heroine fully believes that Liam like absolutely hates her guts. And so she might realize there's a fine line between love and hate. One of my favorite things in romance books is caretaking specifically with someone who is chronically ill. This book has own voices representation for endometriosis. Evie has endo and the way that Liam helps her when she's having a really bad flare, like, Oh, makes me 
drool. Teach Me by Olivia Date is my next one. This one is about older characters. I believe they're in their 40s. Not that I'm saying 40 is old, but typically in romance books, you see 20 and 30 year olds. Just saying. <laughs> Both of our characters are teachers at a high school. The hero was recently hired and actually took over some of the heroine's history courses that she absolutely loves teaching. So she doesn't think highly of the hero when he first comes in because he took away some of her classes. He has no idea though. He has no idea that he took her classes at all. And so he's really trying to get on her good side because he's starting to realize that he's having feelings for this very prickly and confident woman. Talk about a gentle giant. This man is a gentle, freaking giant he can just like he can tell that the heroine doesn't like him very much so he's gonna like kill her with kindness basically which <laughs> is always my favorite if you want a fun audiobook i have sweet talk by cara bastone this is like a graphic audio so you have like background noise multiple narrators sound effects all that jazz and it's novella link and it's only available on audible plus by the way so you have to have your have an audible membership in order to listen to this the story starts out with our hero accidentally texting the wrong person in his phone. He often does the voice to text feature because he's dyslexic and it's just easier for him. But then he accidentally sent it to someone else in his phone and he doesn't know who this person is. He has this person, this woman under a contact name he does not remember putting there. And these two actually get into a texting, calling relationship where the heroine knows who he is, but she won't tell him how they know each other. It's kind of like a game. Like, figure out if you know who I am. And so he doesn't remember her, doesn't know her, doesn't know how he got her phone number, but he's gonna try everything to figure it out. He's gonna be a little detective and figure out how he knows this woman. And he basically falls for her over the phone and her through text messages. It's really, really, really sweet. The audiobook is 10 out of 10. Dad Bod Wingman by Carla Doyle is next. This is another little novella. And this one is best friends, like childhood, teenage, best friends to lovers. So the hero owns a bar one night in the bar. I think his like childhood, teenage, best friend slash secret crush um, moves back into town. And the moment that he sees her, he's like, I think I'm gonna shoot my shot. I think I'm gonna ask her out. He doesn't think that she's gonna say yes, but she does. It's like a very sweet and like hot it's hot it's hot okay but it's also sweet um a friends to lovers romance so if you want like a fun novella with plus size representation on the hero's end you never really get to see plus size rep with men in romances but this one was really good he's so stinking sweet he's very respectful of our heroine which is 10 out of 10 in my book next i have kit mcbride gets a wife by amy berry this one's really fun Okay, um, so this is a Western. The hero Kit and his brothers need wives, I think in order to get an inheritance. Junebug, their younger sister, decides to put an ad for a wife in the paper. This like wealthy, well-off lady answers the ad. Then she backs out at the last minute and sends her maid instead. And just so happens to be our heroine. And she doesn't know what she's getting into really, but when she's, on their property gonna go see what's going on she actually falls i think in a hole and breaks her ankle if i'm not mistaken and kit is there to sweep her up and take care of her and there's a little bit of a hidden identity because he thinks that she's this like well-off lady who answered the ad when in actuality she's not she's only her maid so there is a little bit of a hidden identity there but kit is there to like nurse her back to health and if y'all know me i love the nursing back to health trope oh by claire kent is my next one this one is kind of like a sci-fi ish romance i consider this like a caveman romance lena is our heroine and she has been in trouble with like the galaxy police essentially and they decide to arrest her and dump her on a prehistoric planet and that is the planet where our hero is he is a part of these essentially like prehistoric people kind of like cavemen i'm just gonna say cavemen they don't speak a language they wear like loincloths their hair is not brush grown out they basically look like cavemen and they act like it as well and so when the hero comes across the heroine he doesn't really know what to think and they very reluctantly bring her a part of their group and these two slowly start to fall for each other despite the language barrier and despite his like uh, caveman kind of gross sometimes qualities because he doesn't really bathe or brush his hair she has to teach him how to brush his hair he's like the sweetest little bean ever like he wants to be with her so badly there's even a scene where he like kills for her like he wants her so bad so um he is a sweet man but he can also have a dangerous side another sweet man with a dangerous side 
is our hero from the Half Orcs Maiden Bride by Ruby Dixon. Agacor is our hero and he is half human, half orc. And Yolanthe is our heroine. All of her sisters have been married and are living like their best life, Lo the life that Yolanthe wants. She wants to be married, have babies, kind of like have the white picket fence kind of. Also, this is like a fantasy romance, by the way, I forgot to mention that if the orc part didn't already tell you. <laughs> but no men have really been interested in her. But then one day her father comes home and is like, okay, I found you somebody. We're gonna go take you to him essentially. And when she gets there, she is shocked to find out that it's Agacor, our like orc hero man. Her father kind of abandons her, kind of like dips out and is like, okay, here's your husband, bye. The heroine is shocked, but is also very attracted to him. And Agacor immediately is like, if you do not want this, like we do not have to do this. Like, I don't want to force you to marry me at all. Do what you want to do. Like he's very respectful towards her, which points, obviously. These two go through some marriage rituals that are very hot and fun. Like Ruby knows how to write some hot marriage rituals, okay? And he is very respectful and sweet, but hot during those rituals. It's so fun. And the last one that I have is an alien romance. This is Artek by Honey Phillips. This is the first book in her Seven Brides for Seven Alien Brothers. It's like a spinoff of Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, right? The book starts out with this one in the series. It's a good little starter book. So Artek is the leader of kind of like this band of um, brothers in arms. They ended up buying a ranch on this kind of like ice planet. And the only civilization nearby is a town full of humans. When he's in the town getting supplies for the ranch that they live on, he goes into the little shop in town and sees our heroine. Her father owns the shop and so she's kind of like the employee of the shop. She runs it when her father's not there and she helps him like buy like goods and food and stuff like that. After a few visits to the shop, the hero kind of becomes a little smitten with her and just decides to go for it and asks her to marry him. And that's like literally the beginning of it. And it's so fun seeing the heroine meet all his brothers and getting to know them and also getting to know um, our tech and it's just actually really sweet and it's a good little starter book to this long alien romance series Anyways, so you have a to those are some romances with sweet heroes in them Let me know down below if you read any of these books or if you plan to but if you don't feel like commenting any of those things You can leave me any candy emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so so much for watching I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all